Hey guys, we got the Acer Nitro 50 here and we are going to be doing a HDD SSD upgrade, but mainly just the SSD. We're not going to be sticking in a hard drive in there. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, other than you might have to use some screws for this guy. And that's about the only difference. So guys, that's what we're going to be doing for this. And yes, if you want to take your side panel off to get ready, and that's where we're going to start at, guys. We're going to go ahead and pull our two power, power wires out. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to attach our SATA cable and run it on down. So we have two spots right here for our SATA cables. So you're going to kind of look at this. The L looks like it's on the left side. So if you look here, there's an L. So there's an L right here. That's going to be facing the back like that. So that L is going to go like that. We're going to kind of bend this up and then we're going to slot it in here. There we go. That's our cable connected. And we can route it down if you want. You can bring this guy up right here and route it in. But I'm just going to be bringing it down like this and then in. And we're going to grab our first top tray. And if you look here, there's a bunch of screw holes. And I will have the screws that you will need down, linked down in the description down below. But they're four fine, fine thread screws, four fine thread PC screws. I like to keep a kit like this because I work on a lot of PCs. But if you order something like this, then you always have them especially if you're a PC person. So we are going to come here and we're going to go ahead and find our, our screws for our 2.5 SSDs. And they're going to be M3s. And these are them right here. And I think our head's too big on our iFixit kit. So we need to drop down in size, which you might also have to do. So I just like to check these first. Yep, that's the right thread. But we're not going to be going on the side we're going to be going on the bottom. So our tray goes in this way. So we are going to line our SSD up. We're going to line our SSD up like that. So let's grab a couple screws. And really with the SSD, you only have to get two in here, but if you want to be anal and put four, go ahead. There we go, that's our SSD installed in the tray. We're gonna go ahead and slot it back in, but before we slot it back in, we are gonna take our power, and the T needs to go downwards, or the L shape needs to be facing down, and then take our SATA cable, plug it on in. There we go. If you have to, you might have to pull this cable and put it in like that, and then come back here and plug all these in. Go ahead and take our extra SATA cable and let's tuck this up and underneath here so we can avoid disturbing airflow. Go ahead, replace your side. All right, guys, the next step, I'm just gonna explain it while I'm putting this back together really quick, is you're gonna boot up Windows and you're gonna go into the start menu and you're gonna type in something called disk management. You should see a disk in there that either says not, or it's not online, like in the left it won't say online, and it'll just say unavailable or whatever. You can right click on that, hit new simple partition and just follow the prompts through. And then you can, of course, I would do quick format if it says format or quick format. If you do a normal format, it might sit there and format forever. With new SSDs, you don't need to format or even new disks, you really don't need to format. Uh, and there you go, you got your SSD up and running. And just when you're going through the disk partition or disk management uh, form, it might ask you a drive letter. I would just say avoid using either A or C if it's you C should already be taken, but if it isn't for some weird odd reason, just avoid using it. Hey guys, it's Tech Nitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.